over the course of the last month, in my walk with Christ, prayer has gotten me through a lot. And it says, rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all, the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God not only wants to comfort you, he also wants to take your anxiety from you as well. Unless, no matter what spectrum you're on when it comes to what anxiety you experience, God wants you to trust in him and he wants to be the one that you come to when you are experiencing those things. Anxiety brings fear. Prayer is supposed to bring peace. Peace is the absence of conflict. And God does not want us to live from a place of anxiety, fear, or conflict. He doesn't want us to live in our anxiety, fear, or conflict. He doesn't want anxiety, fear, or conflict to be the defining presence of our lives. God doesn't want those things to be what our lives revolve around. He wants us to live in peace. Prayer. When I have felt anxious, I prayed, and the anxiety subsided. God, we know that no matter what happens in this life, that we can always put our hope and our trust in you, and we know that there's nothing that anyone can ever do to us that can steal your love away, that can remove you from our lives. God, you are truly amazing. We look forward to spending eternity in heaven for you. And until that time comes, we wait and hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love rest upon us, our Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Lord Jesus, you are amazing. God, we thank you that no matter what goes on in our lives, we can always put our hope.